Hello everyone myself Dr Parth Goswami and today I am going to teach you about abnormal staining of red blood cell in the peripheral blood smear so we will see which are the abnormal staining of red blood cell so see friends the uh, red blood cell staining intensity it's depend upon the hemoglobin content within it and normally we know that there is a central one third pallor in the red blood cell so when the hemoglobin content of red blood cell is less especially in the anemia the central one third pallor of red blood cell will be increased and so such rbc is given the name hypochromic red blood cell so the hypochromic red blood cell is seen in the following condition it is seen in anemia but especially it is seen in following condition first one is iron deficiency anemia then second one is thalassemia like hemolytic anemia then third one is anemia of chronic disease and fourth one is sideroblastic anemia in all these four condition the central pallor of rbc will be increased because of less hemoglobin and see friends the central one third pallor is totally lost in the spherocytes in the spherocytes there will be no pallor which is known by the name spherocytosis now suppose you have the both uh, normochromic and hypochromic red blood cell population then it is known by the name dimorphic anemia and the causes for dimorphic anemia is blood transfusion patient then sideroblastic anemia then iron deficiency anemia patients who respond to the treatment and fourth one is myelodysplastic syndrome like that of myeloproliferative neoplasm all right now in this particular image uh, you can see a hypochromic red blood cell the central one third is increased in the second image you can see a spherocyte where the central one third pallor of red blood cell is lost it is spherocyte okay thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video till then take care and bye bye